Okay, so here I am. I've been living in Monterey for about 15 years and I've never been to the Pacific Grove Monarch Sanctuary. Figured why not give it a try for our pollinator biology class and learn a little bit more about monarchs that spend a big chunk of their time here. Let's see how it goes. So after being here for a little while, my first question is, where are all the butterflies? I got here while it's still a little chilly and there's a lot of people around with the same question. And I've heard a lot of different things about the numbers dropping over the years. I never really thought much about it, but now I'm here sitting in the sanctuary and kind of experiencing it myself. Now it might be that I'm a little late in the season. They say that February is kind of the end of the season might be that it's a little chilly. They might have had bigger numbers earlier this week from the things I'm hearing around, but haven't seen one except for the one that I saw at the very beginning. And I'm not sure if it's alive. So since I'm not finding any butterflies to look at, I decided to look at some of the flowers and check things out. Now I'm betting that this plant benefits from self-pollination where it can get pollinated by other flowers on the same plant, judging by how many there are so close together. But I also wonder if it might have preventatives in place to make sure that it doesn't get self-pollinated. So after I ID'd this one as the Sydney Golden Wattle, I was wondering if this one is kind of anemophilous. If you look closely, there's a lot of pollen all over it in long stalks, and it makes me think that on a windy day this pollen would go everywhere. It's probably why when it's been really windy over the last couple of days, I've seen pollen all over my car because I've seen a lot of this brush around here in the Monarch Sanctuary. And if that golden wattle isn't anemophilous, I bet if this crimson bottle brush is. Check it out. Looks like the wind would take that and run crazy with well, it. I've been here about 45 minutes and still have yet to see another butterfly but check out the nectar guides on this island mallow. Pretty amazing pollinator syndromes right there. You got strong nectar guides, bright colors. While I've been, mostly been seeing plants that have a lot of different flowers all in one place, I have found one simple flower and it's right behind me. It's that lily that you can see right back there. It's a little far away for me to identify exactly what type it is, but it's some sort of calla lily or canna lily, I think. So I think I'm gonna call it. I've been here for about an hour or so and only seen the one butterfly that I saw right at the very beginning. I don't think it was alive because when I went back about 20 minutes later it was still in the exact same spot and it looked like it was being rattled around by the wind and not just moving on its own. But I'm going to have to come back again next year. It sounds like from talk I've been overhearing here that they're gone already. They've migrated. Uh, we had a really warm spell earlier this week and I think they just decided it was spring and took off. So that's about normal timing for them for their migration, um, but still a bummer that I didn't get to see many. But hopefully I can do it next year and it really got me thinking a lot about different pollination styles, the different anemophilus, I totally am pronouncing that word wrong, but the different anemophilus uh, flowers that I've seen around, um, if they're that, if they're anemophilus, if they're taken by the wind around or if it's just the grasses around. Um, some of the different single flowers like the lilies that I saw as well um, as that mallow that I saw, mallow maro, one of those that I saw that beautiful pink flower and how it had a really strong nectar guides and pretty deep made me think that hummingbirds probably have to pollinate that one. But it's been a pretty, pretty cool experience here and I'll definitely have to come back. Hope you enjoyed my video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.